Hallo und willkommen zurück zu Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky Second Chapter. Und wir sind jetzt hier auf der Glorious. Oops, silly me, the sanctuary isn't this way. We need to use the elevator on the opposite side of the hallway. Diese Musik. Ich mag sie. Hier ist noch ein Zimmer. Hier ist auch noch ein Zimmer. Ist in irgendeinem Zimmer hier auch noch jemand drin? Hier ist eine Kiste. Von Knockout Meatball. Oh, schön. Ja, jetzt hat Ren einen Knockout Meatball. <lacht> Wofür auch immer. Oder sie gibt ihn einfach an Estelle weiter. Und EP Charge. Ja, gut. Was haben wir denn hier noch? Upsi, silly me. Okay, gut. Wir, wir können sonst nirgendwo, wir müssen da lang. Come on, the elevator is just over there. Gut. Dann. Access to the sanctuary and the engine room is restricted. Please provide voice identification. Enforcer number 15. Ren, codename Angel of Slaughter. Destination Sanctuary. Access granted. Welcome, Enforcer Ren. So, dann fahren wir wohl jetzt hoch zum Professor, oder? Oh, schön so ein roter Teppich ausgerollt sogar. And here we are. This is the sanctuary. The professor should be just inside. Hey, Ren. What is it? Were you the one controlling that Joshua puppet in the base? Aha, uh -huh, that's right. The professor asked me to. Neat, huh? <sighs> So, you're a victim of the society, too. Eh? Huh? Never mind. Well, here I go. See you later. Meinst du, weil sie das nicht aus eigenem freien Willen macht? Der Teppich ist schon nice, ne? Dann klopf mal an und geh rein. <lacht> Klopfen an so einer Tür einfach. <lacht> das hört man auf der anderen Seite vielleicht gar nicht, aber... Egal. Natürlich sitzt er da und spielt Orgel. Damit das auch möglichst episch wirkt hier alles. Ja, so funktioniert Musik. Sie hört nicht einfach aus, auf, sondern sie fadet langsam aus. Welcome aboard the Glorious. Wie, jetzt geht die Musik trotzdem weiter. It's been some time since we last met Estelle. Ah, Professor Alba, I thought it was you. I'd finally remembered when I heard your voice a minute ago. Cassius Bright's daughter continues to impress. The seal on your memory wasn't particularly strong, but... Throwing it off on your own is still worth some manner of praise. Yeah. My apologies. I've yet to properly introduce myself. My true name is Georg Weismann. I am one of the Anguis, supervisors of the society. An Anguis? So you're like one of the high commanders of the society? Hmm. Something like that. Now, as I said before, I am completely prepared to answer any questions you may have. What would you like to ask first? Honestly, there's so much to ask. I'm not even sure where to start. You needn't fret. Take your time thinking things over. If it pleases you, I could play a relaxing etude while you collect your thoughts. Yeah, I think I'll pass. You know, you didn't strike me as someone who'd be into that sort of thing. Well, whatever. Here's a question for you. Was the whole poor archaeologist thing a total act or what? <laughs> Putting the poverty aside, I actually am an archaeologist. 
And as an aside, I picked up the pipe organ during my time with the church. I may not be that Erebonian you spend so much time with, but I dare say I'm decent, wouldn't you? Hang on, the church? Like the Septian? I was something of an academic priest. A chance meeting with the Grand Master led me discarding the path of faith. My knowledge of artifacts, paltry as it is, still proves useful from time to time, thankfully. With our great current plan in particular. The one who tempted Colonel Richard into starting the coup. And the one who arranged all the gospel experiments. It was you. It certainly was. War er, er war ja auch mal ein äh, Mitglied der Kirche. War er ursprünglich mal ein Gralsritter? And it was all for the sake of our cause. Your gospel plan? I saw something in the research facility about that. Your plan is to take the Aureole, isn't it? Take the Aureole? That's not entirely accurate. But for the purpose of this conversation, it will suffice. Yes. What is the Aureole anyway? Why do you want it so bad? I know, it's said to be one of the treasures of Eidios, but just what is it? Ah, for the moment, I must keep the exact nature of the Aureole a secret. I would, after all, so hate to spoil the surprise. The surprise, right, thanks. Our plan has moved into its third phase. Very, very soon now, its true nature will be plain to see. <laughs> I can barely contain my anticipation. And once the Aureola has shown itself, then, then we will see the potential of mankind unfurl before our eyes. The potential of mankind? Ragnar said something about that too. Oh, the holy beast was willing to bestow his wisdom upon you? Perhaps you are doing more than simply living in your father's shadow? Spare me the flattery. And what the hell, I keep asking you things and you keep dodging the answers. Do forgive me. It wasn't my intention to be so evasive. I can, however, easily answer the question I know you want to ask most. But what? What keeps you from asking it? Don't be afraid. Muster your courage and ask it of me. Joshua. Where is Joshua? Hmm. His exact location is currently unknown to me. From what I've observed, he's up to something with those sky bandits. Their movements have proven to be quite elusive. Though he is alive and well, I can assure you. Okay. Joshua's specialties are covered operations and guerrilla warfare. I was the one who turned him to excel at such, but he has long since surpassed even my greatest expectations. <laughs> I gleefully await seeing the height of his potential. You... Come now, you needn't look so angry. Er war dieser Magician, den Joshua erwähnt hatte, als er geredet hatte von seiner Vergangenheit. Der Magician, der das Herz reparieren wollte und es dann so geformt hat, wie es ihm gerade passt. Come now, you needn't, needn't look so angry. When Joshua was entrusted to my care, his heart was aching to a glass ornament dashed against a paving stone. He was my first attempt at rebuilding such a scattered soul. It is not natural, you think? For an academic to be curious about the result of his work? What did you tell Joshua on the day of the Queen's birthday celebration? I merely removed the block on his memory and told him the truth. That he, once taken into your home, had unwittingly been acting as a spy and sending guilt information to the society. 
that Richard's coup succeeded in its own right because of him. And finally that, thanks to his efforts, the ground was, was at least fertile for our plan. I even rewarded him. I formally released him from his obligations to the society. I finally get it. Why Joshua, that night, why he disappeared. Why he said goodbye with that look on his face. Mm, yes, I must say I did find that regrettable. To think Joshua would abandon you so coldly after regaining himself. I recommend he just pretend he knew nothing of it on and continue his life with you, but alas. I suppose my generosity backfired, no? I'm amazed. I'm amazed you can even say that. You were the one who chased Joshua into a corner in the first place. He didn't have a choice. So he had to to look like that and give his harmonica to me and say goodbye Estelle all of it every last bit it's all your fault ah ah guck mal da springt Löwe dazwischen Löwe the hell did you come from I was here from the start you simply didn't bother to notice <lacht> What an undignified performance! Ach, er war das. Und, äh, und er und sie, die sind alle hier. You performed so well in completing my challenges too! Gut, dass ihm das auffällt, dass wir die Challenges alle gemacht haben. Did I not teach you to think before you act? Come on, give us some credit. It takes balls to pick a fight with him. Agreed. Regardless of her skills, her courage certainly is impressive. Though I wonder if we should call it courage or mere foolishness. Oh crap. <laughs> so, you're the Divine Blade's daughter. Wer ist das jetzt? Campanella? Ja, ist er. Diesmal ist er auch wirklich da. This would be the first time we've met. I'm Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool. Nice to meet you. Another one? Stop it, guys, you're scaring Estelle. Und die letzte Enforcerin, die dazu gehört. Rent 2? You don't need to worry, Estelle. I know what I said last time, but we aren't here to hurt you or anything. Promise? Huh? Hey, Professor! Why not ask Estelle right now? Well, now is good a, as good a time as any. Ja. Kommt jetzt ein Angebot? How about it, Estelle? Would you like to join the Roboros? Uh, what? I'm sorry, I misheard that. Would you say that one more time? I ask if you would like to join the Society of Ouroboros. You wouldn't become a full-fledged enforcer right away, of course. You would be more a candidate for the position. W -w -w Are you insane? Come now. It's hardly the leap of logic you're thinking. Joshua has been rather stubborn about returning, but with you here, he would undoubtedly come back to us and to you. Uh, oh, um, um... Estelle, you want to see Joshua again more than anything else, right? If you join us, that will come true right away. What's there even to think about? But, but, I... Now then, Estelle might need some time to weigh her options. We will be departing the ship for a little while on business, Estelle. You may give us your answer when we return. Okay. And I do apologize for this, but your options must remain fairly limited during your stay. Feel free to request anything you need, but you'll be staying in your cabin. Okay, aber nachdenken soll sie darüber, ob sie beitreten will. Dann würde sie eventuell Joshua sehen, ha? Huh? If I join the society, I'll meet Joshua again. 
That's all but guaranteed. Besides, I don't have to join them for real, right? I can just, like, pretend to join them and learn more about how they operate. I'm not the best actress in the world, so it might be hard, but it's better than just being locked up. Yeah. Entweder das, oder sobald du das irgendwas zusagst, macht der Professor was mit dir und du kannst gar nicht mehr nur so tun. No, that's stupid. That isn't the way I do things. Pardon me? Löwe kommt rein, okay. Huh? You? <laughs> no need to be so on guard. I have no intention of harming you. Though, if you do try something like that little stunt of yours earlier, I may have no other choice. Yeah, well, sorry. What are you doing here anyway? Weren't you guys going out somewhere? The professor and the others are the ones who will be advancing the plan. I'm staying behind and minding the glorious. What is it you people are planning on doing? If you wish to find out, why not accept the professor's invitation? You'll learn most of our plans if you do. <laughs> it seems you have your answer, but you're still hesitating, aren't you? Um... If you want my advice, Estelle Bright, you are not suited for the society of Ouroboros. At all. In both ability and personality. Man, do you have to be so completely blunt about it? Don't misunderstand me. The potential for the necessary skill is within you. Somewhere. But your personality. You have too little darkness within you to be part of Ouroboros. Darkness? All those in service to the Grandmaster bear some kind of darkness on their shoulders. Myself, the Professor, the other Enforcers. Joshua too, needless to say. Hey, what's your relationship to Joshua anyway? Our relationship? Joshua was weirdly focused on you. He seemed to know who you were, even though he didn't recognize you with that mask on. And on top of that, it seemed like he was desperate to find out who you were. That doesn't surprise me. The professor sealed part of his memory away. He was hypnotized in such a way that the moment he left the society, he could remember little about us. Even if he remembered his actions as part of the society, he could not remember his confederates. That would have been the core of his dilemma. That's... The memories of his childhood would be the same. Even if he remembers Karen, he likely would have only loosely remembered me. I see, so that's why... Und so wie er das gerade angedeutet hat, kennen die sich sogar schon seit seiner Kindheit. Wait, Karen? I've heard that name before. Ja. Yeah. Karen Estray, a childhood friend of mine and Joshua's older sister. She died ten years ago. What? The harmonica you have was originally Karen's. Joshua held onto it as a memento. And then it was passed on to you. Joshua had an older sister? Um, how? Und du bist quasi jetzt seine neue ältere Schwester? How did Karen pass away? I hope you know what you're really asking. The answer to that question requires staring into the abyss in which Joshua and the rest of us reside. And it will stare back. Are you prepared for that? Tell me. I don't know if I'm ready for what's coming or whatever, but I want to know what kind of path Joshua has followed. If nothing else, I have to know that. As you wish. Jetzt erfahren wir also die ganze Wahrheit. It was a little over ten years ago. Back when you could still find the village of Hamel on maps of Erebonia and Libel. Die Musik wieder. Ach, das Lied. Ich, ich, diese, dieses Spiel ist so schön. Hamel was a tiny little place. 
There weren't many other young people, so the three of us were always together. I dreamed of becoming a bracer, and I spent my free time practicing my swordsmanship. Karin and Joshua would watch and encourage me. That was how we whiled away the days. Und Karin hat die Mund Monika gespielt. Once I was done with practice, we would turn our ears to Karin's harmonica. Karin could play anything on the harmonica, anything. But my favorite was always the old Erebonian folk song, The Whereabout of Lights. Der auch Joshua's und uh, Estelle's Lieblingssong ist scheinbar. It seems like that bliss would last forever. We believed that. We had no reason to doubt it. The day dawned and began just like any other. And then they came. A band of invaders, garbed in black and armed with Liberlian weaponry, came from nowhere. They encircled the village and slaughtered everyone in sight. None were spared. Not the old and infirm, not the young and defenseless, not even infants. Those who were killed quickly in the opening moments were the luckiest by far. And the women and the women? Even in this telling, there are some things I will not recount. We fled desperately from that hell. We were lucky to be in a position to escape when the attack began. We fled for the outskirts of the village. The screams of our own families carried to our ears on the wind. Once we'd gotten to the outskirts, I told Karen and Joshua I would act as a bait to confuse any pursuers. I promised them I would catch up to them soon and send them ahead. But the attackers, they had laid their plans well. They had people in position to deal with any who, any who tried to flee. When it finally caught up to them, the scene was strangely quiet. A man, dead shot through the throat. Joshua with a gun in his hand, dumbstruck. And Karin holding Joshua with a horrific wound on her back. She was barely breathing at that point. Even now, the scene seems surreal to me. Karin was calm and content. She entrusted her harmonica to Joshua then asked that I take care of him, and then she died quietly, there in that clearing. W why on... why did that... The Empire invaded Libel almost immediately afterwards. A defenseless little village, its inhabitants slaughtered by men with Liberlian arms. It was almost too perfect of an excuse to invade. It can't be. The Berlian troops doing that? When the local garrison found us, they were adamant the invaders were the Berlian. When the war ended a few months later with the Empire's defeat, however, we were given a different tale entirely. They told us instead that a band of Jaeger dropouts had turned to pure brigandry. And they told us to never speak to anyone else of the attack. The Erebonian authorities announced that Hamel had been destroyed in a landslide, and all roads leading there were to be closed completely. Hold on, what? Why would they lie about that? Neither explanation makes sense. That's almost like... Was anderes ist da passiert? <laughs> Indeed. Everything was a fabrication by the Warhawks and the Empire to justify the invasion of Libel. At the end of the war, the ruse was discovered and the Imperial government was thrown into a panic. They consented to a comprehensive peace and executed nearly everyone involved in the plot, all to pretend that it never happened. That is still bright, is the tragedy of Hamel in full. Die Erebonianer, die ihre eigenen Leute abgeschlachtet haben, 
um behaupten zu können, Libel wäre es gewesen, nur damit sie einen Krieg anfangen können. That was also when Joshua's heart was broken entirely. He was now burdened with the torturous death of his sister, his parents and everyone he knew, and even the shock of taking another man's life. How could that not shatter the soul of a six-year-old child? You've likely heard the rest from Joshua. His spirit was so wholly broken that he lost all will to do anything but play the harmonica. He began to waste away. That was when the two of us were found by Weissmann. To save Joshua's life, I entrusted him to Weissmann's care and threw myself into Ouroboros' training. And then two years later, Joshua, repaired as he was by Weissmann, followed the same path. Also, als er acht war. This is darkness is still bright. Do you understand what sort of gulf separates you and Joshua now? Do you understand what he stares into every day? I do. Yeah. Now I think I really understand why Joshua left. Huh? Hey, next time you see him, tell Weisman thanks, but no thanks. I'll never join a Roboros. It's not because I like or dislike the society. But as long as I'm going to pull Joshua back over that gulf you mentioned, forget it. Although I do feel kind of bad about letting Ren down after she went through all this trouble to invite me. Hey, you think she'll forgive me if I say I'm sorry? <laughs> You're one of a kind, Esther Bright. To hear those horrors and thus lose your hesitation? You truly are more than just the daughter of the Divine Blade. Uh, thanks for the compliment, I guess. And you say all that, but you care about Joshua too, right? You guys were friends. Or maybe more like brothers. Let me be absolutely clear. That was ten years ago. To me now, he's nothing more than a rogue element to be eliminated. Wha the professor seems to enjoy letting Joshua do as he please. I have a different plan in mind. Sooner or later I will deal with Joshua personally. Wait a second! What the hell is this? Karen asked you to take care of him. Doesn't that mean anything to you? I have my own path I've chosen for myself. I decided myself to my goal, and any who stands in my way shall die by my blade. Not even Karen's final request will stop me. How can you... Ja, was ist denn dein eigenes Ziel? Ah! Was ist da draußen? Was ist da draußen? Die Glories, die Ah, da kommen diese Schiffe wieder. Und sie fliegen durch die Glories durch. Habt ihr das gesehen? Das war gerade eigentlich voll der Unfall. <lacht> Kann sein, dass auf einem davon Joshua drauf ist. Those are... The Professor and the others, yes. It looks like the third stage of the plan is getting underway. Ja, aber auf einem so solcher Schiffe müsste Joshua auch jeden Moment ankommen. The third stage? What's... <laughs> That's not for you to know. Once we're finished, you'll be returned to your father. Behave until then. Now just a... Also sie wollen sie nicht umbringen. As one final note, don't even think of attempting to escape. The glory is as 8,000 arch above the ground. You have nowhere to run. Ganz sicher. Don't even think of attempting to escape, he says. As if he doesn't know that it's a human nature for me to want to do exact opposite. Besides, he's the only enforcer on board. Aber wahrscheinlich auch der stärkste von den allen. Alright, why not? Let's do this. Ja, was hast du vor? Rumlaufen? Okay. 
Okay, the timing is gonna be everything. If I can figure that out, I'll be good. Let's see, I'll wait a couple of hours until they let their guard down and then... Right, it's worth a shot. So, this was a memento of Karin, huh? You shouldn't throw away something like this so easily, you idiot. Was hat Estelle jetzt vor? Jetzt kommt wieder diese coole Musik da. Haben die jetzt Wachablösung? Hey, time to change shifts. How's the girl acting? Ha, <laughs> quiet as a mouse. She might be a bracer, but she's still just a kid. Probably curled up in bed, scared of her, out of her mind. <laughs> Babysitting while everyone else is out sucks. This is so boring. I wanted to get out there into the action. Quit your whining. There's Leonard's orders. And hell, if I'm not gonna follow his instructions to the letter. Huh? What was that sound? Hey, what are you doing? You don't think she escaped? Auf jeden Fall ist das uh, Fenster offen. Damn it! That stupid girl! Does she not get where she is? Is she trying to kill herself or something? Ugh, Gehenna, take me right now. She probably fell. You gotta be kidding me. What are we gonna tell Leonard that will let us keep our heads? Damn, the damn brat. Nothing but a lot of trouble. Damn brat, huh? Ugh! You! Nice try, old man. <lacht> also Estelle hat vom Skill her zumindest mehr drauf als einige Leute, die die für sich arbeiten lassen. Ne? Hm, never underestimate a bracer. First of all, don't you think that was a little rude, calling a sweet maiden like myself a damn brat? It, it wasn't me! I didn't call you that, I swear! Oh, you didn't? Well, you didn't correct your buddy then. Either way, it's nap time for you. Ugh. Jetzt haben sie beide nap time. Okay. Reinforcements are probably gonna get here really quick. So I should book it. There, there's gotta be some way of this boat. Yeah, and... I won't give up. Not until I see Joshua. Not until I see that dummy again. You won't stop for anything, Löwe. Well, neither will I. Gut, dann kann ich jetzt das Schiff verlassen. Ähm. Aber wo lang? In welche Richtung? Muss ich hier lang? Kann ja jetzt überall hin quasi. Brauche ich hier keine, keine Voice Authentification? Gar keine? Also wirklich so gar nicht? Wirklich so gar nicht? Also ich kann jetzt einfach hier lang gehen. What is this? Ja gut, hier kann ich also nicht lang. Also muss ich unten lang gehen. Hier. Aber da geht's auch nicht lang. Oh, come on again. Ich muss wahrscheinlich dann oben auf dieser Seite lang gehen, ne? Ja. Die Dinger gegen die müssen wir öfter kämpfen. Die bringen ähm, schwarze Seppet. Die auch. Alle Arkesen scheinen irgendwie schwarze Seppet zu bringen. Kann ich hier weiter? Ja, guck mal, hier gehe ich jetzt rüber. Und bin jetzt auf der Seite. Und die bringen sogar Erfahrungspunkte noch. Das geht eh wieder zu. Also muss ich wieder rüber. Wahrscheinlich auch wieder runter. Oder so. Oder auch nicht. Hier muss ich jetzt. Wahrscheinlich wieder runter. Boah, ich muss unbedingt allen die Slots öffnen, wenn ich soweit bin. 
Jetzt kann ich hier raus, oder? Guck mal. Boah. Das ist das Deck. Darn it, wrong way. This looks like the main deck. So on, please tell me why this thing has to be so ridiculously huge and easy to get lost in. At this point, my only real hopes are to either find the a parachute or something, or, or somehow take control of one of the smaller airships. Either way, gotta keep going. Yeah. Ja. Wie wär's hier mit mit dieser? There she is. Crap. Ah, er ist so umzingelt. Ge ha, that's far enough, girly. Not too bad, though. Escaping from custody on the glorious and all. The dot of Cash's bright does not disappoint. You understand, of course, that trying to resist is pointless. Be a good little girl and lay down your weapon. <laughs> What a pathetic showing, Mr. Bright. Huh? Oh, don't recognize me with you uh, with the helmet, do you? Fine then, look into the face of the one who bested you. Huh? Yeah, uh, Gilbert. <laughs> you remember at, le at last? I doubt you ever uh, ever thought to encounter me again, even if you're in your worst nightmares. Hmm? weiß, wer das ist. The young man is Mayor Damas, former steward. Yeah. <laughs> the second son of the cup was Sky Bandits. Um, nein, er ist der von Mayor Damas, der Steward. Ich weiß nicht, ob das irgendwelche, irgendwelche Auswirkungen auf meine Bracer-Punkte hat, aber eigentlich will ich einfach nur sagen, wer bist du nochmal? <laughs> du bist so unwichtig. Außerdem ist er angeschossen worden von den, äh, von den Jägern, ne? Ja, nochmal. Um, I think I remember seeing your face before. Who are you again? What? I am Gilbert, the former steward of the Honorable Mayor Dalmor. Y you could at least remember the people you've arrested. Well, excuse the heck out of me for being surprised. I mean, first of all, didn't we hand you over to the army for a trial and stuff? How do you even manage to get here? <laughs> you doubt my uh, resourcefulness. During the coup, I managed to escape in the chaos. Shortly thereafter, Roboros found me and so I pledged my allegiance to them. I don't know whether to call it tenacious or just thick-headed. Are you seriously a Jäger? You're not actually going to fight, are you? And again, you underestimate me. I am the prodigy of the sword as much as the pen a, a, a master of bows. A both. Oh, so, the, the pen. Oh, so. But uh, I remember how you screamed back when you got roughed up by those special ops guys at the lighthouse. Do you really think you're cut out for combat? It was all high pitched too, like. <laughs> This is silence! I have been part of a huge number of combat enhancement programs since I first entered the society's DVI service. My physical abilities have been greatly increased and my knowledge of battle tactics is unparalleled. Trotzdem ist er fri. Also, Gilbert, ne? Es ist einfach die größte Wurst, die dieses Spiel zu bieten hat. Gilbert ist einfach so eine richtige Lachnummer. So, don't think you can best me again, Bracer Scum. For the love of... Just play along for now. Now then, Estelle Bright. If you want to live, throw aside your stick, get down on your knees and beg for mercy. If you do that, I may forgive your past transgressions. Oh, what an offer. I moved to tears over here. Really. But sorry, I'm pretty thick-headed too. <lacht> Damit hat er einfach nicht gerechnet, ne? Er hat nur geblufft. <lacht> Maybe I can beat one of your crazy enforcers on my own, but I can shoot throw down with the likes of you. So bring it on, Screamer. 
Ja gut, dann äh, mal den als erstes. Die anderen müssen erstmal nochmal näher kommen, ne? Autsch. Ja gut. So, so stark sind die ja jetzt nicht, ne? Gut, das ist machbar. Auf jeden Fall machbar. Estelle ist wieder voll geheilt. <lacht> so, der erste ist weg. Null. die Granate ist einfach nicht explodiert. Das war so ein... Ich sag ja, das ist die größte Wurst von allen. Der kriegt nichts geschissen. Jetzt hat er Mine gesetzt. Ich glaube irgendwie, die verletzt vielleicht sogar seine eigenen Leute oder ihn oder was weiß ich. Jedenfalls ähm, ist das jetzt doof. Warum? musstest du mich gerade blind machen. Dann halt Soulblur. Obwohl, nee, das macht nicht viel Schaden. Habe ich irgendwie so, äh... Habe ich nicht irgendwo, äh, Augentropfen oder sowas? Ach, guck mal, ich kann ja hier dieses Purging Baum nehmen. Das hilft auch gegen Blind. So. Und er setzt da eine Mine hin. Ja, gut. Autsch. Jetzt bist du schon wieder... Was soll das? Hört doch mal auf damit. Die erste Mine geht gleich hoch. Self-Destruct. Oh, guck mal, die machen ja sogar was. Oh, was soll die Scheiße? Kannst du nicht einmal damit aufhören, sie blind zu machen? Warte mal, ich, ich habe sie noch nicht besiegt, das ist noch nichts passiert. Damn it, this is rough by myself. Gar nicht, du hättest das locker geschafft. What a resilient woman. She's running on empty though. Enough platinum, surround her and take her down. Tch. Just in time. Wer? Looks like you are having a hard time. Allow me to assist. That won't be necessary. She's up quite a fight, but we'll wear her down eventually. You're welcome to watch, of course. I wasn't talking to you. What are you... Ja, guck mal, wer das ist. Too slow. What? Uh, what are you doing? I'm sorry, but you're not cut out for this. Is er wirklich nicht? Really? What are you thinking? You may be a full bracer, but you're still a total loose cannon. What were you going to gain by trying to fight them all by yourself? No way. Joshua, this um, this isn't a dream, is it? Things would be nicer if this were a dream. Unfortunately, reality isn't so convenient. Huh? You finally show yourself. Löwe. It's been a while, Löwe. You knew I would find my way on board. It was entirely possible, given your skills. Still, I'm curious as to how you actually managed it. I boarded one of those scout airships that went ahead of the Glorious to check its route. None of the enforcers were about, so it was fairly trivial to sneak in. You even guessed that Weisman would request the Ark. You really haven't lost your touch, Black Fang. All thanks to you, really. Though... It always was a bit nerve-wracking, wondering if you or someone else would find me. <laughs> There are a few who can see through your skill at obfuscation, but stealth has its weaknesses. The instant someone notices you, you lose your own advantage. You have lost your advantage, Black Fang. What do you think a Fang can do against the Blade Lord? 
Wait! For your information, Löwe, I'm still plenty ready to go. I don't care how strong you are, we won't make it that easy on... Stand back, Estelle. Löwe's powerful. More so than the both of us combined. <laughs> and knowing that, you still came here. Some might call that naive, but I know you better than that. What drove you to leave her in the first place? Um, if you wish to protect someone, protect them. And if you wish to cut them from your life, then do it. Completely. Did I not teach you to be thorough? To be decisive? Yes, you did. That was the very first lesson you taught me after Weissmann was done tuning me. If she means that much to you, you should never have left her side. You should have stayed with her, tormented by guilt or otherwise. The fact that you didn't is just another form of escapism, nothing but deceit. I know that, Löwe. I know what you're trying to tell me. Do you really? Joshua. But in, K in that case, what about you, Löwe? This should have been my price alone to pay, my burden. And yet you joined the society too, and now they call you the Blade Lord. Why are you still working with Weismann? My cooperation with Weismann has nothing to do with you. I do so because of my desires. Your desires? You mean about Karin? Pity revenge won't bring Karin back. So... I want to see if her death was worth it. I want to put humanity to the test. That's where I'm working with the professor. Put humanity to the test? Enough talking. You have three options. You and the girl both surrender. You protect the girl and you die. Or you abandon the girl and escape by yourself. Make your choice. Joshua. I'm sorry but I'll be taking option four. What? Uh, what? You! I fiddled with the orbital engines a little. Left alone, the society's glorious arc will be another wreck on the ocean, f ocean floor soon. Hey, Joshua, could you maybe warn me when you... Yeah, I wusste ja nicht mal, dass du hier bist. You really are a magician. You need authorization for the engine room, so I didn't think you'd be able to worm your way in there. I altered each of the 22 engines in a singly different manner. Weissmann could sort it out, maybe Ren too, but with them gone, the only one left is you, Löwe. A final ace in the hole to put a stop to the plan, well done. But no use, but to use it now. <laughs> Just how long do you intend to keep deluding yourself? <laughs> I hope you have an answer when we next meet. I'll be looking forward to it. Er muss jetzt erstmal das Schiff retten. Und währenddessen können wir entkommen. Um, Joshua, I am... Um, we can talk later. We've got inertia prepared for an escape. We need to head down the stairs ahead of us and get the hangar. Ah, uh, yeah, come on. Na dann, lass uns doch hier runtergehen und uh, in den Hangar. Wir können hier nochmal resten, was vielleicht ganz gut ist. Vielleicht bekommen wir hier nochmal eine kleine, uh, kle kleinen Bosskampf oder sowas vorgesetzt. Ach, guck mal, nee, wir müssen wieder durch sowas durch. Ich wollte noch mal gucken, äh, was er denn so an Ordnungs hat. Ja gut, die sind schon relativ gut. Da brauche ich nichts mehr dran ändern. Josh ist einfach Stufe 75. Was ist denn hier noch? Ähm, hier ist eine Kiste. Yay, Star Rabbits. Wer rüstet die denn jetzt aus? Du, ne? Star Rabbits. Komm, kriegst du. Du hast keramische Spikes, okay. Und du hast kein äh, Gear zum Protecten. Hier, nimm mal äh, 
White Bracelet, kein Blind mehr und Skull Pendant, so. Na, hier wollen sie mich nicht durchlassen. Dann muss ich wieder zurückgehen und hier weitergehen. Na, da wollen sie mich auch nicht durchlassen. Musste ich hier überhaupt lang? Oder hätte ich unten weitergehen sollen? Ich kann hier lang. Nein, kann ich auch nicht. What? Aber hier kann ich lang? Wo soll mich das denn hinbringen? Überall sind diese komischen Dinger, die hochgehen. Diese Pinöckel. Muss ich doch unten bleiben? Oder... Oh, guck, ich geh zu noch... Warte mal, was? Oh, fettes Monster ist das. Die Kleinen da, die kennen wir ja schon, ne? Und die können wir uns mal zuerst kümmern, weil die sind auch mit einem Schlag weg. Ja. Joshua greift an, wollte ich gerade sagen. Dann greift es der den an. Joshua greift den an. Dann ist nur noch das Ding da. So. Ja, gut. Schlimm ist das jetzt auch nicht. Autsch. Self-Destruct. Ist doof. Mag ich nicht. Self-Destruct ist doof. Seven Rings Cane. Guck mal. Eine, ein neuer Ding für... Für... Für Estelle. Ich wollte gerade gucken, ob Estelle jetzt vielleicht sogar stärkeren Angriff hat als Joshua. Aber nein, hat sie nicht. Wäre aber heftig gewesen, wenn das jetzt so wäre. Dann können wir hier weitergehen. Und hier lang. Und hier geht's wieder runter. Ja. Guck mal, wir sind da. Huh. Hier können wir nochmal gerade resten. Warum auch immer wir dann... Dann würde ich mal sagen, ist hier das große Finale, oder? Oder? Yo, guck mal, hier sind noch mehr solche Dinger. Wo geht's denn hier hin? The Gate is shut tight. Okay, da geht's woanders hin. Da geht's weiter. Steht auch Gate is shut tight. Wahrscheinlich, ne? Ja. Gut, da ist auch ein shut tight Gate. Dann müssen wir wohl hier lang gehen. Ach, guck mal, noch mehr solche Räume. Kann man hier nicht einfach durchgehen? Nein, kann man scheinbar nicht. Man muss wieder nach oben. Hier hoch. Und äh, hier lang. Genau, hier ist noch so ein Zimmer mit einer Kiste drin. Ein Proxy-Puppet, das brauchte ich jetzt nicht unbedingt. Aber sonst ist hier nichts, dann gehen wir wieder zurück. Ja, hier müssen wir wieder rüber oder so, wahrscheinlich. Denke ich mal, kann ich mir so vorstellen. Und wenn wir hier wieder rüber gehen... Ah, hier können wir nicht rüber, das heißt wohl, wir müssen hier wieder... Also runter, wollte ich gerade sagen. Aber hier ist die Treppe ja gar nicht. Und hier? Hier ist eine Treppe runter. Okay. Und hier ist scheinbar dann der Landeplatz. Hier. Warte mal, hä? Da wären wir auch genau da durchgekommen, okay. Also fahren wir weiter runter. Und hier sind jetzt die Luftschiffe oder so. Komm schon. Kommt schon. Lass mal endlich am Ende sein. Irgendwie sieht das hier bekannt aus. Als ob wir da schon mal waren. Aber schau mal, ist hier das Ende. Ist das das Luftschiff, was du vorbereitet hast, Joshua? Holy. Since when does an airship have its own landing port? Yes, the Crimson Ark, the Glorious. Pride of the society is meant to be a mothership of sorts. It can provide birthing to up to 12 smaller vessels. That's unbelievable. I secured a ship earlier for escape. It's in the in the hangar farthest in. Got it. Also das hier hinten. Und zwar hier weiter. Und noch weiter. Ganz hinten hat er gesagt. Also hier. <lacht> ja, bit late, aren't you? Wer ist das? Campanella. You. Campanella. Joshua, how cold. 
You have that nice long heart to heart with Löwe and you don't even stop by to say hello to your old friend Campanella? I didn't think you were still on the ship. Let me guess, you knew I was coming this way. <laughs> well, I am the one the Grand Master sent to observe the plan. It's my job to notice more than the others do after all. <laughs> it's impressive though. You've changed quite a bit in the, what, half decade since we last met? You've become uh, much more of a man, hmm? And you literally haven't changed at all. Even your appearance is exactly the same, as though you haven't aged a day. <laughs> well, make sure to never skip my daily skincare after all. I've heard you enjoy a good romp in a dress every now and then. Perhaps I could introduce you to some cosmetics. Yeah, I found a princess and I found a maid, alles. Ah, could you be any more aggravating? You were waiting here for us because you want to fight, right? Just fight us already. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a strong little girl. I'd wondered what kind of girl could pluck your heart like a grape, Joshua. She's a good match for you, huh? Wait, who plucked whose heart like... Ah, I forgot myself, though. Your proper girlfriend is that bandit girl, isn't it? Oh, Joshua, you're such a stud. That's quite enough of your nonsense. I have no idea how you even know about Josette, but either way... Our abilities in combat should be about the same, and I doubt Estelle will just sit by idly by. Do you still intend to stop us with force? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't my intent at all. As I said, I'm simply here to observe the plan unfold. I have no duty to impede you two directly. Wait, really? Then why bother waiting for us here? <laughs> to say my farewells, of course. But, you know, just saying goodbye isn't very exciting at all. So I thought I'd make you escape story a bit more... riveting. Ja, toll. Kriegen wir nochmal Gesellschaft von fliegenden Monstern. What? The pale Apache flying orbital puppet? The society already has work has working models. And so a new obstacle arises to block the reunited heroes. How will this affect their legend? Let's find out. Na toll. Aber Campanella wird uns immerhin nicht selbst angreifen. Machen wir erstmal die kleinen Dinger platt, ne? Uh, craft. Du machst hier Evil Eye, so, so dass alle getroffen werden. Und alle Attack Delay kriegen. So dass es Dell jetzt dran ist. Und Craft. Vor allem sind beide, die anderen beiden schon tot. Ähm, Impede. Warte mal, kannst du, wenn du dich einfach moves, kannst du nicht einfach hier hingehen, so, so dich direkt neben den Stellen? Und dann trifft er dich nicht mehr. <lacht> Was ein Penner. So, dann kann es dann auch nochmal angreifen. Ja, ich habe gerade einen Move gemacht. Super. Ich habe einen Move gemacht, statt auf Angriff zu drücken. Estelle, du sollst angreifen, bitte. Und Joshua auch angreifen, bitte. Bullet Barrage, ja toll. Kannst du sonst noch irgendwas? Das Ding ist ja luschig. Da war wieder Blut. Habt ihr das gesehen? Dieses Spiel ist ganz schön brutal. Und Self-Destruct. Na super, das musste es natürlich noch können. Self-Destruct. Tja, das war's dann. Campanella. <lacht> well done, well done. I expected no less of Joshua, but the miss is really very good as well. You, you. Enough of your stupid messing around. Now, now, there's no need to be so angry. 
Anyway, it's time for the fool whose act is done to exit stage right. What? Und er verbeugt sich. <laughs> well then, you two. Let's meet again soon. Und weg ist er. He's gone. That's just a little escape trick he knows. Don't worry about it. More importantly... Hey! You sure they came this way? Yeah. Didn't you hear the sounds, idiot? No doubt about it. So, jetzt aber schnell. Esther, we have to hurry. Right. Dann rennt mal auf... Ah, das ist sogar das Schiff. Okay. Und dann fliegt weg. Lock the door. I'll get the ship launched immediately. G got it. Ja. Er hat aber immer noch diese Mörderaugen, ne? Activation key recognized. Confirmation code entered. And we can go. Ah! I'm opening the hatch via remote control. We'll be launching immediately, so take seat. Okay. Ich wusste gar nicht, dass Joshua, dass Joshua äh, Flugschiffe fliegen kann. Ist der etwa ausgebildeter Pilot? It's them! Fire! Don't let them escape! Tja, das... Äh, jetzt kommt ihr nicht mehr dran, ne? Uh, we're falling! It's fine. We'll correct shortly. There we go. Und schon steigen sie wieder auf. Tschüss, Glorious. Tschüss, Society. Wir klauen dann mal euer Schiff. Oh, think they can just fly away? How with that? Sorry, the airships. We're going after them. Na gut, wenn ihr das wollt. Ah, ist der sieht das auf ihrem Radar. Wow, this is a radar, isn't it? There's some um, three lights getting closer, I think. Hmm, Pursurers. We'll need to evade them somehow. Uh, Joshua, you know how to fly an airship? The basics, at least. This ship doesn't have any armaments, however. This isn't the best situation for us to be in. Oh, great. Wait, why did you go for a ship with no weapons? The ship was undergoing maintenance, so the security was lighter. It was an emergency, so I didn't have time to be picky. An emergency? You don't mean... You don't mean the fact that I was caught on the Glorious? Enough. We're going to be flying rough, so hang on to something. Yeah, ja, halt dich irgendwo fest. Uah! Komm, jetzt zeig uns deine Manöver, deine Flugmanöver. Jetzt wird hier wieder Star Wars gespielt. Ach, guck mal, Verfolgungsraketen haben die also auch. Die treffen gar nicht. Joshua fliegt einfach unter dem. Ha. Und da kommt der andere. Wieder unter dem Wolkenmeer hindurch. <lacht> This is bad. Those guys chasing us seem pretty good. The pilots have been put through one of the society's piloting focused enhancement programs, most likely. They won't be very good at, uh, at adapting to the unusual, but for more common tasks like chasing down a ship, they're very good. I get it. They're like those guys from earlier. If they are bad at adapting, though, maybe we can cause some kind of accident. Yeah, will we hit? No, wait, that wasn't our ship. Hä? Eins der anderen geht kaputt. Ach, guck mal, wer kommt denn da? Wer kommt denn da? That's no way! The Bobcat? But why? Joshua! Joshua, you're on that ship, right? That voice? That voice! Yes, it's me. What are you guys doing here? 
I thought you'd be out of level by now. <laughs> My brothers got all worried that you might run into a problem. So we've been shadowing that flying whale for a while. Hey, really? Who was the one begging us to follow Joshua, looking all worked up and ready to faint? K Kyle? Enough, you two. And besides, we have little payback to give the society ourselves. We thought we could stick around here until we settle our other debt. I see. Thank you, you saved me. <laughs> yeah, you better be grateful. We've had an eye on you for a while. Uh, noticed you weren't f uh, What does this Kyle? We had an eye uh, on you for a while and noticed you weren't f firing back. There's some kind of problem? I had to take a ship with no armaments. It's proven to be a bit of an issue. I can't imagine. W what do we do then? Right then, we'll split them in two. You can probably lose one, right? One, no problem. It's a plan then, blessing of ideas be with you. Joshua, take care, you hear me? Okay. Okay, damit haben wir jetzt uns verabschiedet von den Sky Bandits. Vielleicht trifft man sie ja mal wieder. Aber erstmal trennen sich unsere Wege. Und Joshua und Estelle sind wieder vereint. Und sie haben scheinbar ihre Verfolger abgeschüttelt. Estelle, is anything on the radar? Nope. All the lights are out, it looks like. Seems like we completely lost them. Good. Yeah. Uh, um, I gotta say I was surprised by the bandits. They're kind of okay. Never thought they'd show up out of the blue to save us like that. Maybe I've been a bit too hard on them. It's true. I just saw us as two parties bound to a contract. But I suppose relationships between people aren't that simple. <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? Put two people together and maybe they'll fight, maybe they'll be friends. All kinds of stuff can happen. That's just how people act, you know? Yes. How people act was never very clear in the world I lived in. Oh. Kill or be killed. Take or be taken from. Until I met you, my life was an endless cycle of such simplicity. But, um... Even you had some good times with Löwe and your sister, right? Löwe told you about that, did he? It's true. I have those memories, but they feel like someone else's. What? After my heart was shattered, my memories of Hamel were no longer my own. I think it's because I gave up being human and chose to become a puppet. I do clearly remember my sister's death. She and I were attacked by a man lying in wait for stragglers. The man swatted me away and forced my sister to the ground. Oh. At the time I was too young to know what he probably meant to do. All I knew was that he was hurting my sister and I had a bad feeling, so I grabbed into the man's back. I ended up getting crushed and thrown off immediately. Somehow, though, I managed to get my hands on the man's gun. Thinking about it, I wonder, did I have a talent for killing people even then? I'd never even been taught how, but I still removed the safety and pulled the trigger with no hesitation. The man fell over, spewing blood from his mouth looking confused. At that moment I finally realized I had shot a man. He wasn't quite dead yet though. He jumped up, combat knife out, screaming and gurgling incoherently with murder in his eyes. I curled up and closed my eyes, like I was being attacked by a wild animal. But there was no impact. I was embraced by something soft. When I opened my eyes, there was my sister, gently smiling at me, 
The man had collapsed at some point and Löwe was standing there dumbstruck with horror. My sister cradled by Löwe gave me her harmonica and then she closed her eyes. I remember every detail, you see. But even talking about it like this doesn't make me feel sad. It's just a slight tugging at the heart, like reading a stranger's diary. And the same is true of my time with you. No, I do think I was changed a little by touching your warmth. I learned happiness and joy with you and finally came to think of you as someone dear. But somewhere it all felt as if it was distant. I suspect that's what my real self was feeling. The empty void of the broken puppet that is Joshua Astray. Ja, aber komm, jetzt bist du Joshua Bright und nicht mehr Joshua Astray. Du hast jetzt eine Familie. Du hast jetzt eine Familie. Also akzeptiere sie. This is goodbye, Estelle. Please, do not chase after me anymore. I was a little happy to see you one last time, but even so, we should not be together. Being with someone like me, you will never be good for you. And to be frank, you will only be a burden to me. So... You're a terrible liar, you know that? What? Joshua, listen. I've seen and heard a lot since you left. And now? Now I think I understand. I understand the reason you left. The real reason. The one you haven't even admitted to yourself. You can't bear to be with me because your heart's broken. You feel like being with me is someone else's story that you can never ever have? And come on, I'll be a bad influence on you? Or you'll hold me back? What? That's all a bunch of lies. Every single one. Especially that last one. They aren't lies. No, Joshua. Really, listen. I understand now. You're really, really scared. What? You think it's your fault that your sister died? And you'd never ever forgive yourself if something happened to me. That's why you ran away from me that night. Everything else was just pinned on afterwards. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Weisman's conditioning left me incapable of feeling fear. He took away my ability to feel it so that I wouldn't hesitate during an operation. You're a little off target, I'm afraid. No, darn it. I'm not talking about something that superficial. Joshua, you said you can't help but feel like your sister's death happened to someone else, right? Do you know why that is? Of course. It's because I'm a broken wreck of a human being. Nuh uh. No, no, wrong, oh. We aren't letting self pity get in the way here. Joshua, you. You just don't want to remember how awful it was when your sister died, how you blame yourself for it. Unconsciously, you've been trying to think of it as someone else's problem, to get away from it. A lot of people do that. I... And on that ship, don't tell me you weren't afraid there. I mean, it was a lot of work just to sneak on board, right? But you didn't even hesitate to help me escape. It's almost as if you were trying to get me away from danger as fast as you possibly could. Danger you were afraid of. You aren't a broken wreck, Joshua. You're just scared, mostly because you care for people so much it breaks your heart. And you're lying to yourself about it. That's how I see it, and I know I'm right. But I... that can't... Why? Can you... Have you forgotten, Buster? I am Libel's number one Joshua Watcher. Now that I know all about your past too, I'm the biggest authority on Joshua Astray in the world. I know more than Weissmann or Löwe even. Joshua scared and Joshua brave. 
Joshua lying and Joshua honest. My beloved Joshua, I finally found you, Joshua. I finally reached you. Stop. But I, I need to say this. I don't want to just be one more person you feel like you have to protect. As long as I am a bracer, I can't stay away from danger. That's not gonna change even if you leave again, Joshua. It's what I have to do to be who I am. And so, and so, Joshua, let's make a promise. Promise? Let's go forward together from now on and protect each other equally. I'm strong enough to be able to cover your back now, Joshua. And if you're at my side, there's nothing I can't beat. No matter what kind of crazy nonsense the society throws at me, I won't die. So... So you don't need to be afraid for me anymore, I promise. As tell, I... Avaiant. Why? How? I haven't been able to cry since... since Karen died. I could never even shed tears as an act, but now... Ah, it's okay. No one's looking. Cry as long as you want. And I'll just hold you like this. Ich liebe die, ich, die, ich finde dieses Spiel ist einfach so schön. Ich liebe es. Und jetzt sind wir wohl endlich wieder vereint mit Joshua. Und jetzt. <lacht> That was a little embarrassing. <lacht> no kidding. Oh right. Here, let me return this. Die Mundharmonika, ne? Oh. Seriously, Joshua. This is your only memento of Karin, right? You shouldn't just fob this off on others without thinking, buddy. Yes. It was a bit thoughtless of me, wasn't it? Ich finde seine Augen sehen jetzt auch wieder viel freundlicher aus. I was kind of wondering what kind of person was she? What kind of person? Hmm? She was friendly to everyone she met, kind almost to a fault. And she had dignity born, born of humility. She and Löwe, the Löwe back then, were perfect together. I was a little, I was always a little jealous of them as a child. Friendly, kind and dignified. So she was kind of like Chloe then? <laughs> It's a good comparison, thinking about it. Karen didn't look like Chloe. She had my eyes and hair, but they were similar in spirit. Estelle? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, speaking of Chloe, you realize you worried her and everyone else sick too and not just me, right? You have something serious groveling to do when we get back. Still, I do. If you say something like, Oh, I don't have the right to go back, I'm gonna just drag you back by your hair, okay? Sure, you were Weissmann's spy, but you didn't even know it, right? Even helping the bandits get their ship back was done to try and stop the society, right? If you tell Dad about the society's plans, that will make it even. That's what they call a plea bargain, right? That's not quite how a plea bargain works. Besides, even if you want to stop the society, you, can get, you can't get back to the, on that ship, can you? In that case, your only option is to work with us, Buster. And if you hadn't been abducted, I could have destroyed the Glorious as I originally planned. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Wait, hold on. How can you say destroy the Glorious so easily? I know it's the society we're talking about, but were you really going to kill them all? It will take nothing less to stop Weismann and Löwe. And even then, there's a decent chance that they'd survive the destruction of the Glorious. Vor allem, weil sie gar nicht da waren. 
For the love of... No, actually, I think it's for the best I got caught. You were going to do something completely crazy, Joshua. <laughs> You're all... <laughs> Estelle's being all cute and naive again, aren't you? No, not at all. It's just that... You have matured a lot as a person where we've been apart. But ultimately, you're still Estelle. That makes me happier than I thought possible. Oh, um... <laughs> Jetzt wird sie wieder rot. C come on, Estelle. Why the heck does Joshua's smile still make my heart race? It's... Cause it's been a while, isn't it? It still gets me right there. Hmm, Estelle? But hey... You got along pretty well with that tomboy, right? Tomboy? Oh, you mean Josette. Well, at first we had our differences. Even so, we came to understand each other pretty well by the end, I'd say. Understand each... Did you kiss her? What? Question, answer, gif! Right. Of course I didn't. Our relationship wasn't like that. Obwohl Josette das gern gehabt hätte. Oh, um, Good. Well, um, then... Can I request a do-over of that night? A do-over? Oh. The, the first kiss is really important to a girl, you know? And and it was all your fault that mine got wasted. So you've, you've got to take responsibility, mister. Still. Come, Sean. Still, I suppose I do. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joshua! Wer ist das? Wer kommt denn da gerade? Das ist, das ist nicht die Bobcat, oder? Oder? Doch, das ist die Bobcat. Tja, jetzt, jetzt hat Josette gesehen, wie er Estelle geküsst hat. The Tomboy. What? Oh, heck, you got away too, huh? Ha, huh. I was hoping you'd stay caught. Gee, maybe I shouldn't have thrown you at them as a distraction, but I don't think they'd like grim grimy Tomboys. Come on, Josette, don't start a fight. You won't object to a brief truce, I hope, Miss Bracer. Yeah, well... You guys did save us back there after all. So thank you, really. We won't have made it we wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> There's no need to thank us. Psh I don't remember saving you. You just keep your thanks to yourself, okay? Uh, okay. One of you is getting dragged off to prison after all, it looks like. Yeah, the other beiden nicht. That aside, Estre, what are your plans now? Huh? We came to ask again if you wanted to come with us, but I'm thinking it looks like we don't even need to ask, huh? Yes, forgive me. I'm not really certain how things will go from here. Right now, though, I will be traveling with Estelle. Joshua. <laughs> I see. Uh, whatever. At least there's still a chance. What? Joshua, remember! You get tired of Miss Airhead over there, just come on back to us. You'll always have a place on the Bobcat, okay? Walk over here and call me an Airhead one more time, you greasy tomboy. <laughs> Thank you, Josette. Done, Carl. I owe you all. I owe all of you so much. <laughs> That's all, Line. Guck mal, so komm doch mal alle in. Freundschaft zusammen, außer Estelle und der Tomboy. <lacht> außer Estelle und äh, Josette. Weil die sich halt wie die Pest nicht ausstehen können und beide auf Joshua stehen. Die haben halt so ihre Probleme miteinander, ne? Good luck and stay safe. Hopefully we meet again someday. Tschüss. Sky Bandits. Auf Wiedersehen. Aber die Hauptsache ist die Wiedervereinigung mit Joshua den wir wahrscheinlich jetzt wieder als Gruppenmitglied haben. Stell. What is it? You do understand that the enemies we've made are overwhelmingly powerful. 
You were captured primarily as bait to lure me out, I suspect. That way, the Glorious would be destroyed in Weisman's absence. Oh. And to be honest, Lover probably could have saved the ship after kicking our bodies into the air, into the sea. I'm fairly sure the reason he didn't was out of pity. Pity at how weak I was, I mean. All of the enforcers are the same. In terms of pure power, they are all masters, far stronger than me, even Ren. We have picked what will probably be the hardest fight of our lives. Yeah. But I do promise. I promise I won't ever run from reality again. I will walk with you until the very end. Joshua. I promise too, to the very end. Und damit ist Kapitel 6 beendet. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal an dieser Stelle wieder. Weil Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Bis dann, Leute. Ciao.